doesn't love Italian food? Today I'm going to get a taste of 1960s Italian Riviera inspired restaurant Torno Subito and meet the mastermind himself, Chef Massimo Bottura. Chef, I'm so excited to finally meet you in person. I've only seen and uh, read about you on social media and on the news. It's a pleasure to be here in Torno Subito. You are a Michelin star chef. You are a restaurant entrepreneur for the last 30 years. What's been your inspiration behind Torno Subito? Torno Subito is, uh, is Massimo that he wants to have fun. Is, uh, I'm th I was thinking since the beginning uh, of my, my most exciting period in my life. Uh, and uh, immediately my memory went when I was a kid uh, and I was spending uh, the summer with my mom and my sister, my sister and me, the younger one of a very large family, on the seaside in Rimini. But Rimini is also, is not just for, uh, famous for the beach, but also for Fellini, for La Dolce Vita. The most uh, amazing uh, moment uh, where Italy was like, wow. And uh, so I said, you know what? I want to rebuild a place like that. A place where you, have, you can smile. You walk in, there's a lot of beautiful colors, uh, lots of reminder in a nostalgic uh, moment, but uh, project into the future. Yeah, because I was thinking that when I saw the interiors, first of all, blown away by it, it is so vibrant and stunning. Yeah. But it is very different from a classic traditional Italian restaurant. When I first walked in, I almost felt like I was at an American restaurant. <laughs> so what yeah. was, I mean, you mentioned that, that you take inspiration from your childhood, yeah. but what made you go with this theme? Uh, it's like, uh, this is, uh, you can see everywhere, like there's a, uh, all these uh, lady making pasta, 1960 Vespa. Um, you know, you have uh, all the Italian icons everywhere. Mangiare means to eat. Bevande means to drink. Uh, carne e pesce means meat and fish. <laughs> you know, Italy is like this. It's yeah. like, uh, look around, uh, the sense of beauty everywhere. You have tables, they are made especially for us. Mm -hmm from the most important artisans we have in Italy, as the chairs, all handmade in Italy. And, uh, you know, the colors are this mixture of amazing colors that reminds you the happiness of the Italians. You know, having been to Italy a couple of times, I feel like anything Italian doesn't need marketing because, <laughs> I mean, it speaks for itself. Now, uh, speaking of marketing, and I want to know a little bit more about your menu over oh. here because you have curated these stunning dishes. Can you please tell me what they are? Yeah, uh, this is going to be, I, I want to surprise you with okay. something very very special. I hate to ruin it. Because <laughs> no, it's don't so worry, beautiful. don't worry, don't worry. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> okay. So this is a pre-dessert, and we dessert? serve pasta as a pre-dessert. So is a, but it comes from a classic casoncelli. Uh, there are like um, a, a beautiful uh, cheese from uh, northwest of uh, of Italy, and red beet that mm. is very seasonal now. So we make a pasta with red beet and uh, flour and eggs, roll very thin, uh, fill with this cheese and red beet again, melt the, the cheese, mixing with some spices and uh, shave uh, black truffle uh, like pregiato on top to give the earthiness, to push the earthiness that is already in the red beet, but also with the black truffle. So, you know, I think this is the first time I've eaten pasta with some element of sweetness to yeah. it. So it is very surprising, but also so refreshing. The flavor yeah. is so rich and creamy. I love it. Yeah. What about this one? This one is uh, the opposite. Mm -hmm. It's like from uh, the west side of north of Italy, mm -hmm. you go to the east side of north of Italy. That is uh, at the border with uh, Austria, Germany, and uh, you know, and uh, this is a uh, strudel. It's mm -hmm. very famous area for apples. So what we do is like uh, strudel is a super classic dessert uh, you know, of puff, puff pastry filled with the apple spices. Here we rebuilt uh, upside down in a very light way because uh, the weather is like 20 degrees outside. So what we do, we like, we confit the, the apples with spices. Then we make a cannolo with the puff pastry. So it's perfectly cooked. 
and crunchy with the feeling of an ice cream inside. Oh, this yeah. is the canolo. Yeah. I need to try this it's, one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, uh, and the apple at the bottom, mm. you know, uh, it's, uh, it's all, uh, all the elements uh, of the strudel, but in a very contemporary way, much lighter. <clears throat> Sorry, I just have food in my mouth. <clears throat> Chef, with all these experiences, sorry, let me, I'm going to do that again, yeah? Okay. Chef, with all these years of experience, your travel, so many different projects you've been involved in, what other food do you get inspired by other than Italian? Uh, from everything. You know, everything in Italian means tutto, means everything. The word everything to me means a lot. You know, when I see beauty, when I see someone that is very professional, someone that is like, I can uh, steal ideas from there, like inspire a new project. Uh, you know, there's no, to me, there's no one cuisine in the world. Of course, I am uh, born and grew up in Italy, so I, I feel uh, Italian cuisine is in my blood. But imagine, uh, you know, for me, what it means New York. New York is a place, is my home away from home. Uh, or whatever, the use of the spices here. The, the use of acidity in uh, Peru mm -hmm. with uh, ceviche, aqua, chile, whatever. Uh, or the way the French, they prepare sauces. Mm -hmm. Uh, too much butter. But, but, <laughs> but your, your passion for food goes beyond just the kitchen because yeah. you launched your nonprofit in, to, in yeah. 2015 called Food for Soul exactly. along with your lovely wife. Exactly. In 2020, you were appointed the Goodwill Ambassador. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the project? You really prepare, eh? <laughs> so the Universal Exposition was in Milan and the theme was uh, Feed the Planet, Energy for Life. So the government's from all over the world, they were coming to me as uh, the best Italian chef at the, uh, and, uh, and um, they were asking, uh, you know, what I was thinking about, or can you be involved in uh, the 4th of July party? I said, okay, that's fine, fine. But I decided to feed the planet my own way. So what I did, I, I analyzed numbers, and you know, we, lo we lose 33% uh, of the production, and uh, this 33% uh, of the production goes to waste every year. So we stress Mother Earth with uh, using water, energy, human capital to produce food, and then uh, we burn it, and uh, food waste becomes the first cause of climate change. So I said, okay, why don't we get the surplus food, transform into amazing meal, involving uh, amazing chef, involving uh, artists, uh, designer because I want to create beautiful places for the people in need because beauty is beauty. Beauty is for, for everybody, speaks to everybody. So I start like that, uh, uh, you know, and I create this uh, beautiful, uh, you know, abandoned theater transform into uh, a soup kitchen, but full of beauty, full of art, design. And the chefs, they were using the surplus food, transforming into amazing meal for uh, people in need. The experiment was an enormous success. Now we have uh, 14 soup kitchen in the world. And uh, we are, last year we close, uh, we rescue 950 tons of food wow. surplus, uh, involving 105,000 uh, volunteer chefs from all over the world transforming the food into 2,550,000 meals for people in need. That's, that's very commendable. That's, I mean, that's to, great. To, to think of how much food actually gets wasted it's is crazy, honestly eh? heartbreaking. Yes. Crazy, crazy. Chef, I know that you're here in Dubai just for a few days. You only visit the UAE th about three times a year, and I've been lucky enough to be here <laughs> in your restaurant, be fed by you. This has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much thank for having you, me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. And good luck with Food for Soul. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> my joy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sophisticated, social, yet laid back is how I would describe my experience at Torno Subito. So if you'd like to enjoy some playfully audacious Italian food by the beach, make sure you visit.